Okay, this is gonna be a simple how to how to reverse your video so that you can put it in your YouTube channel or whatever video you're working on. You don't have to use After Effects or um, Movie Maker and take frame by frame cut backwards and then re-record it. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna open up some video right now for you to look at. All right, this is a shot. I speed it up and I'm blowing some vapor out there. Video I did on the 16th. Blow some more vapor. And here comes the reverse effect. This is really what I'm trying to get at here. Just a simple reverse setup so that it can give your videos a really cool look real easy. All right, we can stop it there and then move on to the next part of this video here so let's open this it's called video time reversal 2.04 i'm going to leave the link in the description it is kind of like freeware so you can donate to it um but basically you can take a video clip like this reversing your video you say how to, you say? And you just drag it right in there. Then pick your preferences. See, you want reverse sound because it's talking. Now, if you if you didn't want sound, you just do it without sound. Uh, remove sound. You can also do a separate soundtrack. Say, if you just want the audio, you could do a actual separate soundtrack. This is really really awesome little software so I'm gonna keep it with reverse sound and I'm gonna save it here as reverse one on my desktop and you'll see it goes through and it starts processing it backwards I've already done this just so you know um, and it is reversed. Sometimes you're going to see it stick like this. Uh, the thing about this uh, time reversal software is it doesn't like certain type files. Like Windows Movie Maker files. It'll do them sometimes and do them good. And then other times not so much. It says the reverse is done. If you come up on that, then what you're going to need is another program called, and this is a demo too, called uh, Prism Video File Converter Plus. So you could take your movie, drag it in here, and make it an AVI. AVI, for some reason, works better with this Electra Live. Then convert it, and then dump it into Electra Live. You've got your simple reversed video. That was a pretty simple how-to. As always, guys, if you like what you see here, I try to do a lot of software how-tos, so subscribe and comment.